Well, Florida bills are expected to pass the General Assembly before the session ends tonight. It'll be a late night for sure, and NBC 10's Brian Crandall continues our Team 10 coverage from the State House with a front row seat for all the wranglings. Yeah, Frank and Allison, the House just went into session. Behind me, the door's now closed. The bell that's ringing, that's calling the Senate into session. They're both a couple hours behind schedule. Now, on the Paw Sox Stadium, which Tony was just talking about, the House Speaker just told reporters, including me, that there's no legislation on the table yet. We knew that, but that he is signaling his support for a stadium deal in Providence, says he thinks taxpayers will like it in the end. Now, the other big news on the governor's bridge repair plan, that's not going to get a vote tonight. The House will come back, he says, in the fall to deal with that and maybe the Paw Sox Stadium deal as well. The speaker said he still has reservations about the governor's plan to toll truckers to fund bridge repair. He wants to make sure there's not a detrimental impact on local businesses, including truckers. Well, Governor Gina Raimondo told us this afternoon she thinks it's time for the General Assembly to take action on that. We need to stop with the Band-Aids. No more Band-Aids. The longer we wait, the worse it gets, the more expensive it is. Forget about the politics. Let's get to work and find a solution. All right, so lots of things going on here at the State House tonight. But again, the governor's plan on tolling truckers to fund bridge repair will not happen, at least not now. The Speaker of the House says they'll come back in the fall and maybe work on the Paw Sox deal, too. We'll have more for you tonight at 11 o'clock as we keep track of this flurry of activity. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News, live at the State House in Providence.